all her life, my mother felt powerless. Because those who had power over her were unjust, she decided that suffering was the price of being morally right. As a child, my father was neglected and abused, but decided that only the weak are oppressed, and so he'd never let himself feel weakness again. My parents left the war in Iran when I was seven. All my memories of them are of fighting, of war, and of oppression. Hey, Todd, what do you think of this? Is that almost not there? Yeah, that's good. Or should I shave it? I mean, you're just doing it out of buck authority. <laughs> that's, where, that's why. I mean, let's be but these, I mean, this doesn't look like... Fuck! All right, customs officials and Israeli whatever, I hope you really appreciate this clean shave look. Oh. You know what's interesting? is that two of my like main fears in life, not fears, but like insecurities, one of them is race, right? Because yeah. that's just an issue, uh, you know, being American or whatever. And the other is, is, uh, is filmmaking. That's two of my three main insecurities. Like, you know, if I, you know, I'm good enough or whatever, yeah. or my career stuff. And so the cool thing about this trip is it makes me deal with two of them right off the bat. What's the third one? There's off obviously relationship stuff too, so I don't know. I'm fucked up. If I meet some girl on, uh, in Israel and then she like fucks me over, then I would have covered everything. So we'll see, man. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> So it's uh, 7.30 right now. We've been in security for the past three hours. Well, not me as much as uh, Soho. I've just kind of been hanging out. <laughs> they've got my email address. They've got my uncle's email address. Anyone I've ever known. They Googled me. That was fun. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like they're really interested in me as a person. <laughs> and uh, that I've, I, feel, I feel welcome. It's been officially five minutes and we're already lost in the city. <laughs> <laughs> we could go that way, that way, or we could have those little kids throw rocks at us. <laughs> Are you still trying to find the goddamn thing? Dude, I have Jerusalem, but it's, it says... No, Jerusalem sleeping budget. Well, Jerusalem. You're a cheap bastard. Whatever, dude, anything's better than the freaking Ben Green Airport. Here we go, Shina Motel. Sukhan al Zaid. Fuck. <laughs> Because in this particular moment, they 
got under my skin. Come here. I don't know. I thought I've, I've always kind of felt a connection to this place, to Israel, as as an idea and as a place for you know, as a refuge for you know Jews who have been persecuted. Just the idea of Israel, like you know, strikes a chord with me. It's you know, I feel very connected to this place. Well, what have you found so far? Mm. I mean, maybe it would be a lot more important if I felt more connection, a more religious connection. So I went up there and the guy kind of said something to me. And then I nodded and said yes, I didn't really understand what he said, but I think he said, are you Jewish? And then mm -hmm. after that he put on that leather thing and then the one here, yeah. I grabbed the keeper, but they asked me if I could read Hebrew and I said no. So he gave me this thing in English, like the prayer. And dude, it is unbelievable how identical it is to the Muslim prayers. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing, at first I was like, What's the, what does this mean? And it's a mitzvah. Mm -hmm. But then all that means, because it had the definition, is uh, be kind to your fellow man. Hmm. You're a rabbi? Cool. Yeah, if you just give me a second, I will definitely. I have a check. Uh, I'm an attorney. Um, it's enough. Remember this when you're kneeling and when you're uh, bowing down and when you're sleeping and when you're standing. Be kind to your fellow man. <sighs> you alright? How you feeling? Good. That was a little weird, huh? With a guy? Yeah, with a guy. You definitely ruined the experience a little bit. Yeah. and it shouldn't have lasted so long. I mean, you can see why Israel exists. Uh, well, no, I can. But then I'm biased because my mum's Israeli, so. Yeah. Um, and I can definitely understand the motivation for wanting to maintain a Jewish majority state so that, you know, they no longer have to fear that kind of subjugation. There was a lot more Palestine in the original borders. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. The Jews accepted that and the Arabs didn't. Mm. <laughs> I've never had kind of any racist abuse really or anything, but then I had a beard and I had longer hair and some tramp asked me for a cigarette and I only had uh, I only had two left and I said, no, sorry, I've only got two left. And he says, oh, you got two left, you can give me one. Um, and I said, no, sorry, I'm, uh, you know, I'm broke, I'm gonna keep my two cigarettes for myself. Yeah. And he says, yeah, you look, you know what you look like? You look like a Jew. <laughs> and, and I said, I am a Jew. And, and then he kind of looked all pissed off and then stormed off shouting, oh, would he shout back? Yeah, he stormed off shouting, you Jew bastard. <laughs> Just really aggressive.
that we shouldn't forget. Yeah, this is kind of part of, this is the whole reason behind this as um, well. Well, I suppose it's hard to leave here without, without that sense, without thinking that, that it could so easily happen again. And it, and it happens out of a desire for it not to happen in a way. Here's what I wanted to read you. Each year, tens of thousands of tourists descend on Jerusalem to walk in the footsteps of the prophets, and a handful come away from the journey thinking they are prophets. This medically recognized ailment, called the Jerusalem Syndrome, occurs when visitors become overwhelmed by the historical significance of the holy city and come to the conclusion that they are biblical characters or that the apocalypse is near. Yeah, I've had the exact opposite yeah. effect. You know, and I'm looking at the Dome of the Rock that's right next to the Wailing Wall, and I keep thinking to myself, your question, why can't these people just get along, you know? My mother taught me to be moral and to care for the unfortunate. But she was always at the mercy of others. My father taught me to be strong and self-determined, but he was isolated and alone. I slept for an hour, so I got in a full two. No. Yeah. Wow. Apparently there's not a single ounce of fiber in any of these meals. But the garden outside, it's open for everybody. Yeah, yeah we, we all we, went there. We, we were all there. But not we inside. There. In your passport, writing you are Muslims? No. In the it, passport? It says from Iran, it doesn't say I'm Muslim. And especially here, the Muslims people, they don't yeah. like shame. I don't know, I, I just, uh, and the first guy told us we can't go in, he just wouldn't listen. And then the second guy was like, prove it to me. Prove it to me. And I just felt really like annoyed because it's like, you know, if you're, if you're a person you're feeling who believes you're, it, you're, yeah, you're, you're feeling yourself tested, somebody's yeah. like it. Right? And it's like, if it's God and it's between me and God, then what does that have to do with this guy? You know, this man, his work doesn't give it anybody to go inside of the mosque. It's right. only for Muslims. That's mean you must understand him. Like you, short, it is not allowed to be by the mosque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, you know, let's it's, say I was fully dressed, I was dressed appropriately, I feel like it would help me and would help like people understand each other. That that segregation just builds it, a divide. You know how to pray? Me? Yeah? Yes. I mean, what do you know to read of the Quran? Can you read some things? I read uh I read it in English, but I know the first verse and the prayers in, in Arabic. Like Fatiha? Uh, you know, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, you know, the, the first verse. Yes, and? Alhamdulillah. Rabbi al-Amin, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Yami Dedeen, Yaqanabudu. I mean, I say it differently because I read off no, the no, internet. No, 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 it's okay, you're wrong. Yeah, so I mean, I... Yaqanabudu wa iyaqanistayin. Ihdina sirat al-Mustabim, sirat al-Hina anamta alayhim, gheri al-Mahdubi alayhim, wala dada alayhim, amin. But anywhere, if you want to go to mosque, I am ready to be with you. Now, yeah. I am ready to park my car, I, I go in with you. Not, to, not with a camera. Just to win you when you're praying. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I-I I know that, like, this person right here, she would be my great-grandmother. And do you have any relatives who know more who... This is all the information I've gotten is... So, this is me, this is my dad. Mm -hmm. His mom is a Kellerman mm -hmm. who was born to the Volman and Kellermans. No, I don't think we're going to find anything. I just don't have enough information. It sucks, like my dad just doesn't know shit about his family, you I'm 
this is I got the blues. I don't know. Where Jerusalem? <laughs> We're hungry and we can't have bowel movements. We <laughs> 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 keep getting ripped off by Muslim and Jew equally. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday I made this, I reject all religion, Jesus, Muhammad, were just these guys walking around. But then we were in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre today. For some reason, it just it just really hit me, like that mosaic that we were looking at, when you first walk in, you know, and there was like, kind of three scenes. Right. It just really hit me, like, how much people just really loved him. Not necessarily people that like built temples and stuff for him mm -hmm. afterwards, but like that scene, you know, you look at like all the different people that like were really concerned about this guy and like fawned over this guy, you know? And like, I don't know. I mean, they just loved him so much. And like, they didn't love him because he died. They loved him because of who he was when he was alive. Exactly. And he was yeah. just like, even if he wasn't a prophet or the son of God, and he was just a regular man, that's still something to it's be- Exactly. To, to cherish. Exactly. It's very interesting. I didn't say it's very beautiful. It's very special. Right, right. Beautiful, it's not. No, it's, it's, they probably like it. I haven't been to Europe recently, but I feel yes. like there's probably a lot more lavish churches there. Very magnificent churches yeah. there. Rich with lots of decorations. But there, each church belongs to one uh, a Christian denomination. Here, many share it. So that is one of these. And your family came to Los Angeles from Asia? Yes, from Iran. From Iran. Yesterday I was kind of like, you know, all these religions are the same and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, Jesus and Muhammad and Moses. I just don't really get it. I don't really care. You know, why should I care? Right. But then today, I was like, wow. Just on a very, you know, I don't know. I was just really moved today. It brings it back. It brings religion back to that personal feeling of mm -hmm. like love and, and like actually how to behave and like so that if you do, if you act right, you'll see that, that everyone around you loves you and yeah. genuinely loves you. Yeah. Seven of the, the UN boundaries that they set are back way back over there, right? Way back, way back. There was never a boundary here. Uh -huh. I mean, this is all used to be one area, yeah. this side and this side. I know, I know families that got separated. Got separated. I mean, two brothers. So, what do you think? Uh, I mean, we're going to be going around all over the place. Do you think it's going to be pretty safe for us, or do people seeing? Like foreigners, is it kind of weird for them? In Ramallah, no, they would, uh, it would be safe. But I don't know, are you going to other areas? Yeah, we're going to go to Nablus. And then Hebron. Not as safe? <laughs> <laughs> Nablus is not that safe, no. Yeah. Especially as Americans, I mean. I can say I'm in the central bus station, right? This Nablus thing, I don't really, I don't really like the idea.
What's that? Oh, no, we're waiting for we're a friend. Waiting for a friend, yeah. It's kind of a shame neither of us really speak Arabic. Like, what do you think would help right now? I don't know. My comfort level? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when we first got in the Muslim Quarter? There was one little difference that I find comforting about the Muslim Quarter, though. Ever present Israeli soldiers. This guy's talking. Al Jazeera, no. No. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. How much? Really? <laughs> no. Should we call him? Call him what? Well, thank you so much for letting us use the phone. We've been sitting here for hours. No, no problem, bro. Look, here the people sometimes, if, if you need help. Mm -hmm. Just ask. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks for everything you got, good, man. Good to meet you, man. We were up there. At the, really? Uh, the big station. Ah. Welcome to Palestine. Thanks, yeah, Thank you very much. Three soldiers got hurt in the old city a few days ago. Really? Yeah, and usually when that happens, they retaliate. And the drones have been going on every yeah. night, taking pictures and stuff. So much happens in Nablus that never makes it makes international news. We just wear white T-shirts and uh, and you know take cover when there's when there's gunfights or something. It okay. should be fun. They don't want to kill any foreigners, so they're careful. Guys, if you are interested to ask about any questions, you can. Okay. Like about the economical situation, about the health and the social. Most of the people here, they are from 46 and 70, uh, 67, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So, so it's like a permanent thing, it's not even like a temporary refugee? No, it's not temporary, it's it's a uh, main one, People, you know, oh, it's it's main one. No, I mean, but there's no plan on like changing this or fixing this and moving out, it's just like this is where people are going to be forever. Right? No. It's totally changing. Because no. the house is here when they built it, they built it next to each other, you know? So because of that, when they explode one of the houses, the other three or Four houses will be on here. Come here! 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 Muhammad. Hello, Muhammad. Hello, Muhammad. Kids started to cry and started to scream. You know, you can hear even from the houses. From you, you can hear the children, the kids screaming and crying from the shooting. In America, when my father felt weak, he would drink. 
When my mother felt weak, she would provoke him. He'd feel strong but ashamed. She'd feel morally right but helpless. Well, you know, because of these invasion, kids suffering a lot. They have so many Plot psychological push. problems, yeah, like being push, in themselves push, push, during the night or screaming, dreaming like the soldiers attacking them and this stuff. Hello! These posters are for martyrs. You can see they make like memorial for them. Yeah. Uh, after they got uh, killed. Who makes the posters? Uh, the brigades them, the, themselves. Like for example, Hamas do for Hamas people, Fatah for Fatah. Uh, they were sitting around the camp for 22 days. Uh -huh. And the Israeli soldiers couldn't enter the camp because they have this propaganda about the camp. Allah, that the camp is like full of guns, full of weapons. All the people, he's uh, like uh, armed people. Uh. So they trying to enter from here, fighters resist them. From here, they resist them. From here, they resist them. On the 23rd day, they attack the camp from different direction. From house to house, like by making a hole, putting ex explosions, explode the wall. Yeah. They enter, and they open this, and this hole, and another, and another. Everywhere. This is the last martyr on Balata Rakhish His name is Rada Balada. He's one of my friends, actually. Uh, he's an uh, Islamic Jihad member, and they killed him. And so when they come in, they're just they looking would. to kill. They're not yeah, looking to sure. detain. Yeah, for sure. No, 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 for sure. Even if they, if they arrested you alive, you alive, they don't care. You were alive. They left him bleeding until he him. get killed. When they catch him. They shot him in his legs and his hands and in his stomach. stomach. But the Shunan al Dabit. The commander. The commander, he came and he told him, I told you I will kill you. And he put the gun in his head and, and executed. shot him. Mm. Was yeah. this a week ago? You know what's weird is that they put these up to remember, but it also keeps the eye, like it yeah, for sure. To not forgive, and the, 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 the main reason for this issue it's not to forget and forgive, because people, Palestinian people, believe and they will they will be back to their uh, original houses or homelands in 67 and 48. You will see more. Don't worry. <laughs> like this is um, my alley. Oh, really? Many houses here destroyed before. Huh? The jeep is stopped there. The jeep stopped there and start to shoot inside. In the alley. Looking there. The people there. There's the gate there. You can see here. You can see here. It was the last day in the invasion. So they have more bullets. It's, they want to finish it. <laughs> This is my home. Can we smoke in there or not? Yeah, yeah. شكله هندي أو باكستاني؟ أبا إيراني. إيران. إيران. Oh no. I don't like them that much either. She said, like, since the first intifada happened and its end, and then became the Oslo Agreement's time, you know, like, it was eight years. Everybody was, yeah, and happy in their life. And yeah, the Jewish people, they were coming working. to Nablus to buy things. Yeah. yeah to, shop, to make go. shopping in Nablus and Ramallah and Janine. So after, after this Oslo Agreement, Sharon came and attacked, you know, entered the, the mosques, mm -hmm. which is a holy Muslim place. Yeah. Sharon, one of the, his aims is to create this intifada again. You know, said so the intifada start again and became a huge problem for the Palestinian and Israeli themselves. So this is one of the main aims for, for the Israeli yeah. governments or Israeli states, which is having a land without people here. Well, again, what, what about those Israelis who don't believe that? Who, who look down on those settlers. There is Jewish. They, they want and they need peace. Yeah. Like us, there is people they don't peace. They yeah. don't need peace. The people they have martyr in their house. The people, their children, they get killed here. Yeah. And there, the same. They will the never same. forget. 
It's the same. It's like equal. They're like in two parallel lines. Yeah. They cannot match in one point. Yeah. So this is the, the main... That's the main, problem. Yeah. So basically, what? How do we do that? There is no... Yani for this, there is no solution. There has to be. Uh, as I told you, it's two parallel lines. There is no way to connect these two lines together. There is no way. <laughs> yani like for example, me and you as a Jewish, for example, and I'm Muslim or Abu Palestine. We want to live in a peace, we want to live in one state and this is stuff. But those people who are religious and those people who are wanted, they will create this problem. Mm -hmm. They will cause the problem between me and you and we cannot live together. Okay, I have, I have a stupid question. Okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> so, in 1948, UN creates like two states, right? The Israeli state, the Jewish state, and then Palestine, like an Arab state. But, and the Jews said yes, and the Arabs said no. If you could go back to that time, what would, would you say? Listen, yes. If I feel like as a Palestinian, if you are a guest on my home, you are most welcome to stay. But as an occupation, yeah. well, never I say yes. Yeah. And you don't have the rights as international community or as a Yonarwa community, whatever you are, mm -hmm. to give people a right to live in my home yeah. and you didn't ask me. You know, how come I'm going to accept it? Yani, let's say you're, you're home in the States. Yeah. Come and I, uh, I, I, and for example, I get a visa and go there, and I came to your house directly, occupied your house. Do you accept, do you accept it? Yeah. So for sure, it's the same for me. It's going to be the same situation, yeah. even if yeah. I back for 48 or 67 okay, or before. Okay. Even before this intifada started, yani, uh, maybe I was thinking about to accept Israel. After and, the first intifada, that... finished. But now, after this intifada, you want me to accept that? Like, listen, I lost 12 of my friends me too. from the Israeli people. Half of my friends on the prison, Israeli prison. Half of them, they get killed. They, yani, yani, I suffered a lot from this people. My best friends, I lost them because of the Israeli people. How, how you want yani, me to accept, to have one state with those people? But it's, I understand you, but what about your kids? What they will, I will teach my kids I, to never, listen, if I believe, listen, if I believe 100%, yani 1% of these 100 uh -huh. that my yeah. kids gonna accept oh. to have Israeli states here, I'm gonna kill them. I'm not gonna have them. I'm not gonna have them really? at all. Yeah, for sure. For sure. This is what my father teach me. And this is what I'm gonna teach my kid. What is our fucking rights? We don't have rights. We are not a human being. We are animals. Even animals have rights nowadays, but we don't have rights. So how come you want me to accept that, man? Yeah, and it's really like... Uh, okay. It cannot, it cannot be here. It cannot be any... But it's not a question of accepting it as it is now. Because no one can accept it. No one should accept. Listen, my father's generation, uh -huh. they used to say, maybe in your time will be better. Right. And my grandfather generation, they used to tell my father, in your time will be better. But it's getting more worse. Yeah. But then, okay, but doesn't that require new thinking? Doesn't that require a new approach? Don't you think? No, we think. Or it's just like we can't we think, accept it and we can't We do think anything. that, but how? My problem, even my social problem, I mean my, my, my own problems, being with my wife, it's because of the occupation, because of the European country, and because of the international law. They refuse me because my name is Muhammad, I'm a Muslim, I'm Palestinian. These three reasons, I'm sure, these three reasons, they refuse my visa. They said I'm, th I'm security threat. What do you mean? I'm Osama bin Laden? How come you can decide I'm security threat? Okay. So this is the problem, Yanni. They don't care about us. Yanni, man, we are nothing to them. This is the reality. Everybody should accept that. They should understand that. What do you do? Yeah. Hello. 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 She could not face her mistakes or believe that she was self-determined. 
so she blamed him alone and suffered. Ramallah, Ramallah, Bethlehem. They make him, you can't drive through. I mean, it's just... Through the checkpoints? Yeah, they're not allowed. This seems ridiculous, no? Yeah. I mean, it completely, like, divides. Even if you have a car and you want to go visit your family on yeah. Friday, you can't. We're waiting here, it's an hour now. Uh, getting out, is it possible for you to get I have a national security file. Why do you think you have a file? Just because of ISM? I don't know exactly. Maybe because I'm Palestinian. <laughs> <laughs> These were cut down for security reasons? Yeah. Uh, all this other place. It's my first time too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a checkpoint yeah. in the walking through the city? Yeah. Yeah. Just a Hey, hey, stop. You should take everything me to him, but check with you. Because the prayer now for Muslims. I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. Muslim, I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. Take my shit. I'm Muslim. 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 I'm Muslim
שלום. They must go. Without the war, I don't know how. But it's it's not their land, it's our land. I I, I don't understand you too. You can open the, the, the Bible and you can say that Israel is land of the Jew. But all the TV and all, you know, the uh -huh. TV and them change our... Perception of your mind. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, is it okay? like Hitler. Is it okay if I film? Okay. Yeah. You know, to be start the film, it's to change the material. Oh, the material. Reality. Yeah, to change yeah. the reality. You know. <laughs> but so for now, to live peacefully, what and what needs to happen here? Peacefully. What? Yeah, for the Jewish people here to live peacefully. We are here. We all feel very nice. You, you see, my I am smile now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no war, but not no war like the Palestinians. Give him. The, your land because it's it's a, it's a holy land, yeah. and if some someone here in the Misgad, yeah, allow Akbar, allow Akbar, and kill all the American and all the Jewish, it's not place for them mm -hmm. to take him out. It's the peace. Yeah. I'm sorry, my English it's not good. Okay, okay. Very good. okay bye. Shana Tova. Be well. Okay. Thanks again for your time. People have been living here together and mm -hmm. it's probably come to a head. The interesting part was that like, you know, she wants to go to America, she wants to get out of here, you know. But it's just, she's just like, she has accepted her fate, you know. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to live their lives, like. Yeah. What else can you as do, As normally right? as they can. Oh yeah, with tacos? You finish high school, you don't live your own life, right? High school. Mm -hmm. You join the military, you don't live your own life, suddenly you know it's time to start life. I don't know, it's like, wake up in the morning, suddenly you stand in front of the mirror and see horns on your head, suddenly you see a different face. In some place you want to believe that it was the uniform, the rifle, the helmet, walking, doing these things in the streets of Hebron and other cities in the West Bank, but you know, this is something that you can't escape, it was you, you were there. I, I couldn't put it into words, just a very strong sense that things are wrong, something yeah. is wrong here. And you grew up on this myth that the IDF is the most moral army in the world. We are the good guys in this picture. And nothing is open for a more complicated understanding of reality. That an occupation is like a math equation. That once as a soldier you control people, you become corrupt, you become mm -hmm. numb. There is no other result. Obviously there was a lot going on that kind of pushed this to... Was there anything in particular that stuck no. out? You can't be there and not be there. Mm -hmm. You can't be there and see Palestinians as human beings, equal to you. It just doesn't work, because to an equal human being, you just don't bump in into the middle of the night, through the roof, three o'clock in the morning, men there, women there, search the house, go out. These things I never did, you know, in Jerusalem I never did it. And this is the story that, you know, in a corrupt situation, you can't be not corrupt. This is the reality. 
again, it's not a story of a rat in Apple. The sack is rat in. So every apple you put in. Beautiful. America, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. LA, LA. They're jealous. We heard Hebron. Happening town. <laughs> so army is required for everybody. Cause for everybody? Two years? Three. Three years. There is the people who... One more year. One more year. We're going to LA. South America, Thailand, yeah. all the good countries. Not Hebron. <laughs> In the Palestinian side, to be like a kindergarten. No, between the Palestinians and the... Oh, you're like a kindergarten teacher. Yes. What? You can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, he's take me. We came in thinking they were just going to be... Only know, Jewish, Jew Jewish yeah. settlers. Here. No, they live... Uh, side by side? Side by side uh, with a uh, few meters different between their houses. That's crazy. This is very crazy. Yeah. Hevron, <laughs> this is the most uh, problem place in the country, I yeah. think. As far as uh, Jewish uh, Palestinians. We don't care. We don't, <laughs> don't care. care. We want to go. We want to go. Listen, to be 21 to years drink. old and to do You're this. 21? And 21 is oh 20, 20. 20. I, don't, I don't want Arab. You see, I want a girl. I want to smoke. <laughs> I want to drink. I want to party. Yeah. I want to rook. You feel? Not to this. This is very hard situation. Yeah. Yeah. This activity is very hard because we're here for one year in this place. So yeah. is after a couple of months, this become routine. Uh, Same every day. Like yeah. the headache Same. and Same. you don't see your house. You go to home every two, three weeks for two, three days. So what's the food here? What is this? This is eggs and... Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it's eggs and pasta, uh, you can call it food. Ah, food. Yeah. So I can show you a picture of what we really want to eat. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we believe in what we do. It's yeah. not uh, for a moment of serious. This, we believe in what we do. We need, we need to be here. What would happen if you guys weren't here? Some th sometimes we stop the arguments from go just from talking to Something else. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the you've seen the Maratha Machpelah, the Palestinians and the Jewish go there to say the prayers. And mm -hmm. If they're not going to be a military in there, so things can go real yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. How many how many uh, uh, Jewish people live here? Settler, uh, I think a couple of thousands, maybe. No, no, no. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, don't take me by word, I think the three younger the. Uh, only 300, uh, 300. Jewish with uh, how, how many hundred thousand. of thousands of hundred thousands of the Palestinians. How many how many uh, soldiers? <laughs> We're here almost one thousand soldiers. One thousand soldiers for for three hundred for three hundred. So yes. I mean. No, fuck Israeli girls. <laughs> yes, really, I don't tell. Go do some fun, not come from this. Uh, Hebron, yeah. <laughs> this is a bullshit, and go have a fun. Really. He could not face the hurt he had caused, the same hurt he had felt as a child. So he blamed her for provoking him and drank his way to denial. Is this it? Are they lost? What do they use tires to set on fire? Keep it going. That was my shot. What the hell is this? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Feel fucking terrible. Yeah. Feel fucking terrible. They come, you know, we come there with this, with this equipment, and we're just these random white guys that show up. It's on. No, I mean, I just, I feel like if I was in their position, I'd be fucking pissed off. People try to come, and all they see is these people here. They don't know. They videotape us. They exploit us, and they don't know. You know, I don't trust those people, those, the, the really extreme people, you know, because yeah. those people take the Islam as a cover for them to do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what I believe. Because if you are real Muslims, I don't think Islam will tell you to cause the harm for other people. Yeah. Like even Muslims, or a Christian, or a Jew. The sky, it's the Israeli sky. Yeah, this is the Palestinian. That's the Palestinian sky. sky. <laughs> That's the Israeli sky. For the Israeli, the same. They feel as we, they feel as we feel, you know. Right. We are inside the prison, and themselves too, they are inside the prison. Right. But this is what they consider it, you know, like protecting or for security issue. They will build this wall, which is a stupid idea, which is make more racism between Palestinian and Israeli. Right.
I decided to take Boots and spend some time with her because I want to know who is this lady that's so strong, you know what I'm saying? This is wasted on us, I guess. What you picture? What you do? Moving. What's that? What you do? Moving. Six fifty five flight. That's where the top coming off on the road. Where we going? Los Angeles. You should tag it. Seven ten. You're here. Hold on. Hold on. Seven ten. Seven ten. Seven ten. In the name of God, the most gracious. the most merciful. God is one. Show us the straight path. 